So this is my uh, Honda four-wheeler. It's a 420cc machine. I've had it for about three years now. I really like it a lot just for its engineering, but the real benefit is the fact that I've kind of outfitted it to be uh, a rolling gas-powered four-wheel drive toolbox, in a sense, especially when I'm out here looking after fences and making sure the water's working for cattle and setting some uh, dividing poly wire between the between the different sections of the pasture. So just come on over and I'll uh, take a look. You can take a look at some of the things I've done. Um, this machine didn't come with all the accessories you see here. Uh, Colpin makes this back rack super helpful. Uh, it's quite deep, so it can hold a lot of stuff. Um, you know, gas and oil for the chainsaws, some fencing tools. Um, spare batteries for the cordless tools I have on here too and I'll show you this uh, you guys that in a minute one thing down here um, I got an extension to this trailer hitch so to get it out kind of even with the back rack that was very helpful too I have a couple of trailers I pull with that and then chainsaw holder super handy it um, it's a great way to hold the saw you never know when you're going to need a saw around here. A fallen tree or something that needs to be cleaned up. Maybe a little bit of firewood cutting. Although I use a bigger saw for real firewood cutting. Um, Moose Utility makes this. This is quite beefy. I kind of wish that back one was as heavy as this. Um, it's heavy enough, but this is really solid. It's the same company that makes the plow blade that I put on the front. Um, as far as stuff I carry... Um, you see me using this, just a pruning chainsaw. It's, it's great for those times when you're feeding the chipper or you're cutting firewood too and you want to just limb some of the branches off the trunk. Um, this is actually a PVC shear. It's meant for cutting PVC conduit, water pipe, a uh, pack, stuff like that. But I'll show you in a minute. It's also a terrific pruning tool. Not for around here so much, but back at the house where you have to do careful pruning. Um, it's quite uh, quite useful for that. This is um, Army Surplus Ammunition Box. They make great toolboxes. Uh, not only are they really strong and they don't cost too much, they got a waterproof uh, gasket on them. And this is where I keep all kinds of things like uh, Power Sharp. This actually lets you sharpen a chainsaw, a dull chainsaw, in about 20 seconds or so. I'll show you about that later sometime. Um, some bungee cords. I do keep some um, drawings here as well, because I, I need to know where to put the various fence wires that, that um, define the pasture and, and keep the cattle into smaller sections. So I found that the only way to lay out things accurately as far as size of chunks go is on Google Earth. So each one of these points is where I'm going to, it was where I, I have installed one strand of electric poly wire to form kind of pie shaped segments. Um, water is here and water is up there. So the pie shaped segments all lead to the water. So I don't have to have a whole bunch of water supply everywhere. But um, should have got one of these, one of these uh, four-wheelers a long time ago because it's really boosted my productivity. And uh, if you got any questions about this setup, I've got a great trailer that I pull behind it too. I can cover that in another video, but uh, just super useful. And uh, yeah, I hope you like taking a look at it. Mm -hmm.